got to work. I worked this morning from 6.30 to probably like 10-ish. Um, and I get to work and I work at the front desk of residence hall. So the way that it works here at Towson is there's a guard who stays here overnight and then we come and relieve them of their shift and then the CCAs, which is our title, see right there, CCA, will continue the shift throughout the day. Um, when I got here, I walked in with the guard. So the guard was not at the desk. And like the rule is 24 seven, this desk has to have somebody at it. And so I got here at like 6.15. So I still had 15 minutes before I had to start my shift. So I went to the bathroom. When I came back, she was gone. Um, so I came back, there was no one at the desk and I was like, okay, and I never saw her. And the floor is littered with sunflower seeds and a piece of gum. That's gross. That is not how I want to start my morning. Either um, increased tension, increased conflict, increased times where parents are shutting the door and talking behind closed doors, whatever it might be. The kids are, kids are, kids are pretty good at picking up on things. So they're doing that during this period. All right, so I'm getting off work. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. I, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, okay, well, I'm walking and I just left, so it'll, it'll be some, some minutes. Okay, see you soon. Bye. So, Brendan's mom is already here. I need to get something from him before he leaves and also I wanna see him before he leaves. Um, I thought I'd have more time before his mom got here, but that's not how it turned out. So now I'm just gonna walk. It's super sunny. There's like no clouds. Um, and yeah, I guess after after that, after he like uh, leaves, I'll get to cleaning my room and packing for my own break. Oh no. So Brendan wasn't here. When, oh, he's not doing the thing. Okay, this guy's gonna let me in. Thank you. He didn't let me vlog doing the thing. I was gonna keep this. Also, I hate that you weren't responding to me. All the time I hate that. Okay, so should I drop off the pies and then go say hi to your mom or take the pies with me to say hi to your mom? That's a good question. Hmm. We could put them in the cart, drive the cart over there, and then you can take it the box from the cart to Marshall. It sounds like a lot of work. It is, baby, but you can do it. Maybe you help wheel it to Marshall, and then you go back to car, and I just carry it from downstairs to upstairs? I mean, you could. Okay. Bye! I'll miss you! He's still going. I have so much to do, and the last thing I want to do right now is get up. I know I've got to do it. I know I've got to do it. I got to do it, I got to do it, I got to get up. Oh, my mom's coming earlier than I thought she was, and I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I still have to do laundry, and I still have to shower. Mm. It's not even that laundry is that big of a deal, but I'm gonna wash my bedding, which means that I won't be able to lay on the bed, because I don't wanna, I have a mattress topper, and I don't wanna lay on it without a cover. So, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to be while it's washing and drying. All right, I'm finally here in the laundry room. I have a question. Anyone who uses like Tide Pods or like any other kind of like laundry detergent pods, have you had any issues with them? Because I've been using these for like a long time, like all through my college years. And I think we use them in my family for a few years before college as well. So my question is, do you have any issues with these? Because only this year, like this semester, have I had this issue where I pull my laundry out and there's like gunk on a few of my clothes. And I think it's from this, like I think this plastic part that's like holding all the soap in, I think this is getting like stuck in my clothes. And like every time I wash my clothes, it's a different article of clothing. Like I will, the gunk will be on a shirt and I wash it again and it's gone, but another pair of pants has the gunk now. Like Brendan and I make jokes about it, like the gunk is like passing around. And I think it's from this. So after I finish, like I have like a big, jar of these after I finish it 
I'm, I think I'm gonna switch to liquid detergent instead of these. But let me know if any of you have had these issues before. All right, we have a dilemma here. These two machines, one of them is for the washer, one of them is for the dryer. They used to be labeled here on the top, but someone cleaned it off. And I don't know which is which. So we're gonna guess and hope I don't waste my money. Okay. I think that one's the dryer and this one is the washer. I was right, I was right. Thank goodness. You know, one thing that I think is a little bit weird about me is I don't like to go home to do laundry. Like everyone else brings their laundry home to do and I tend to do my laundry before I go home. So, like I could save money if I were to go home. Like I wouldn't have to use my own detergent or pay for it, but I don't know. I still prefer doing it before I leave. my room which doesn't even look that bad I just feel so unmotivated to do it right now um, I got a lot of trash out the other day I have to do dishes that are in my room and the rest is just kind of like organizing stuff which isn't that bad I just really don't want to do it this would happen this is like the gunk I'm talking about this is on my blanket no what am I gonna do I don't man I don't want to wash it again but I don't want to just leave it like this oh my gosh very blue why is it blue oh well nothing I can do so I rewashed the blanket without a detergent pod it's in the dryer now seems to be fine. I can only check three corners of it, and I don't remember which corner the gunk was in, um, but I didn't want to like unravel the blanket and like throw it on the floor or anything, so hopefully three out of four means that it is clean. Um, now I'm going to shower. I still have to pack, which the reason I haven't packed yet mostly is one, because I've been busy, and two, I haven't decided how I want to pack yet. Like, I don't know I don't want to bring a lot of bags and I didn't want to empty because originally I was going to deep clean everything <clears throat> and empty out my marching band duffel and just use that but I didn't empty it out and I don't want to so I'm hoping I can fit everything into my book bag and maybe my little over the shoulder bag and hopefully that's enough. Only took all day but the bed is finally made and it didn't even actually get everything out we go. I know it was in this corner, I think. Oh, right there. Still some like soap on it. And it's a little bit damp, but it's gonna have to do. Alright, well I've mostly done all I need to do. I am still waiting for my mom to get here. And I'm packed all except the food. Ooh, food. And I don't want to pack the food. That's mine. No. I don't want to pack the food because it's frozen, so I want to wait until basically my mom tells me that she's here. But I did just find a cliff bar. I'm going to eat that now. Ooh, blurry. So my mom should be here any minute, and now I'm just kind of in the lobby trying to find stuff to pass the time. I'm going to refill my water bottle and then probably check the mail. Okay, I didn't flip my viewfinder up, so I don't actually know if the camera's on me or not. I'm sure it is. 
But turns out my mom has been here for the past 10 minutes and I didn't know. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, hi! I was literally sitting in the lobby. Like I hadn't seen the message. I don't want to come to you. Okay, it's all stuff in the car. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello, my little girl. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi. Who's a good girl? All right, I didn't end the vlog. Um, as you saw, I am home now. Tomorrow for you is Thanksgiving. Well, I guess if you're watching this the day of, it is Thanksgiving. Um, that's about it. I'm home now. I'm here for a couple days, and then I go back to Towson. And I have some, some kind of exciting news when I return back to Towson. So, stay tuned for that. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. We just recently got over 600 subscribers. Which means the next goal is 700 and my long-term goal since about January, February has been a thousand subscribers. So, we are over halfway there. So, until tomorrow, remember to inspire others, do good things, and be happy.